Good morning and happy Sunday. This is Ralph with the Home Based Business Success Podcast. Hey, good morning and happy Sunday. Our topic today is dealing with hard times. And a lot of people today feel that we are definitely in hard times and that things could get worse. Uh, And what I have here during this podcast are four suggestions and a few tips. Uh, How to deal with the hard times. How to set yourself up mentally to succeed and to persevere. Even during the darkest times. Norman Vincent Peale, a guy that I like to listen to, once said, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And that, uh, just keeping that in mind, it's given me the strength to go through a lot of different tough periods in my life and just keep pushing on. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to give four uh, suggestions and a few other tips. I haven't really counted them up yet, but uh, looks like about seven here. Seven in total about how to deal with hard times and how to make your way through the difficult times in life. And it really, it, it all starts with mindset. You know, what you think about the most, you empower the most in your life, and you tend to create and manifest in your life. And one suggestion that comes from Napoleon Hill, and Napoleon Hill is a great thinker and philosopher that came to us from, uh, he he grew up during the Great Depression era. And I mean, when the world, when our country and the world at large was going through the worst depression we've seen up until the present time. And he managed to keep a positive attitude He managed to not only survive the Depression, but he began to prosper during the Depression. Now, how do you do that? Well, that's why I like listening to Napoleon Hill, reading his books, uh, listening to his recorded seminars that still survive. And uh, one suggestion that he had is to start the day with a laugh. When you first get up in the morning... You know, have a good belly laugh. Find something that you can laugh at. And what he said this practice does is that it helps to cultivate a positive mental attitude. It brings positive energy, the energy of joy and laughter, into your life first thing in the morning. And then that helps to shape the rest of your day to uh, you know, be shaped in a positive manner. And I've noticed this for me. I mean, I, I'm, I am a morning person. And so when I get up, it's like, okay, I, it's not like, you know, I'm singing zippity doo dah or anything like that. But I do get up and I kind of look around and get, go out into the front room of our, of our home. And in the wintertime, we have a couple of cats. And they're outdoor cats, but during the winter, they like to be indoor cats and uh, they will be sleeping in some of the most awkward positions and I'll just look at them and they'll be looking cute and I'll just laugh at that and that gives me my good positive start to the day but whatever you have to do in order to get a good laugh just think of something funny uh, remember something funny tell yourself a joke but get in a good laugh and if you can make it a belly laugh you know, make it a belly laugh. Do that. And just get the day started on a positive note. And then you'll, you'll feel energized. You'll feel ready to start the day. And just carry that positive energy with you throughout the rest of the day. Now, second suggestion. And this really, it, it, it comes from, you know, mom and dad and, you know, folks that were uh, teaching me when I was growing up. But, you know, make sure that you get your proper rest. When we're stressed, 
when we're going through difficult times, when we don't know exactly how we're going to pay the bills, uh, it's easy to get stressed out and just to lose sleep over things. Make sure you're getting about eight hours of sleep per night. If you get a little bit more, that might be better for you. We're all different. We all have different body types, different needs. So kind of adjust these suggestions to fit your particular needs. But make sure you're getting enough rest. And I know there are times when you have to get by. You know, you you got a lot to get done. You have to get by on six hours of sleep or four hours of sleep. You know, been there, done that. I've had to get by on just a couple hours of sleep at a few points in my life in order to get done what needed to get done and then put in a full day's work the next day. And then that night, I was ready to crash. But, you know, if you have to push yourself, go ahead and push yourself, but make sure you make up for it. You know, don't make a habit out of getting by on two or three or four hours of sleep because that stuff will catch up with you over time and it's not the best for your body for your brain for your mind you know if if you have to push it go ahead and push it but make sure that as a general rule of thumb that you set aside you know eight hours of sleep and get your rest and a, a, a relaxed mind a rested mind can be a lot more productive than a stressed out mind that is just running on caffeine and nothing else. So, yeah, get your proper rest. Number three, eat right. You know, proper diet, proper nutrition. And I'm going to throw this in. This can really be seen as a separate suggestion, but I I think it kind of goes with diet and nutrition. And that's exercise. You know, make sure that you're eating the right foods for you because, yeah, we are all different body types. Some people get by really well on a vegetarian diet. Other people, you know, they need to do a carnivore diet or a keto type diet. Whatever diet works for you, do it. But make sure that you're getting, you know, eating real food, not food like substances that are wrapped in plastic and that you casually toss into the microwave. Uh, If you got time to do a little bit of home cooking, do a little bit of home cooking. You can Google recipes online and just make sure you're getting, you know, real fruits, real vegetables. Don't go overboard, but, you know, whatever works for you. Real fruit, real vegetables, real rice, real beans, real meat, real foods, and not highly processed food-like substances. And when you go to the store to do your grocery shopping, you know, read the label. You know, if it has like real food in it, you know, that's great. If it's got a lot of chemicals and substances that you cannot pronounce, maybe best to kind of leave that to the to the side and try to focus on something else. But try to eat good food, real food, get a proper human diet. Uh, Get your proper nutrition. You know, in our household, we use vitamins and mineral supplements. We've always uh, pretty much focused on that. We take uh, multivitamin, uh, vitamin B12, uh, B complex, uh, liquid drops, uh, vitamin D, you know, liquid drops. I mean, we we make sure that we get, you know, what we feel our body needs. So, uh, yeah, focus on eating right, proper diet proper nutrition, and then it does the mind, spirit, and body wonders if you can get out and do a little bit of exercise every day. You don't have to push it. Now, I uh, I ordered in a couple tons of gravel, a couple tons that I had dumped right in my front yard, and my daily exercise right now is running back and forth with a wheelbarrow, uh, putting that gravel in places where it needs to go, places where heavy machinery can't reach, places where only a guy with a shovel, a bucket, and a wheelbarrow can reach. And so, yeah, I, I do that about every a half hour or an hour for each day. The other day, I put in three hours on it to beat the rain, and whew, my body was really telling me about it. 
But, you know, it's really wonderful what a little bit of exercise, what a little bit of manual labor will do for the human body. And that's one thing that if you're an online entrepreneur or if you're working a desk job, you know, it's easy to let ourselves get out of shape. So if you focus on getting your proper exercise, you know, that will help you feel better. It'll put you in a more positive mood. It'll give you a, just a better, more positive outlook on life. And when we're talking about dealing with hard times, you know, you've got to take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Take care of, uh, you know, your nutritional needs. Take care of your exercise needs. And if you do all that, you're getting your proper rest, proper diet, proper nutrition, proper exercise. That will go a long, long way in keeping you happy, healthy, and productive, even during the darkest times. Now, number four here. Keep a positive mental focus and mindset. And during difficult times, during hard times, we may have to focus on keeping a positive mindset a lot more strongly. But what I have here under this heading, three suggestions that I have used and have really worked wonders for me and my wife when we were going through some very difficult times. First is, take some time out each day to watch a funny movie. I mean, when uh, my wife and I were close to being homeless at one point, you know, we didn't know how we were going to pay the bills. We didn't know how we were going to make it through. We were trying everything we knew how, and yeah, we were getting kind of stressed. <clears throat> one thing that helped us keep our sanity is that we had a lot of comedy DVDs, and we played the heck out of those things. We had We went through... You know, what we kind of called our year from hell. <laughs> Those things happen, unfortunately. But we made it through it. And we made it through it by watching a lot of, you know, Three Stooges stuff, you know, in the evening. Didn't have anything else to do. Might as well focus on getting a good laugh and getting a good mindset developed. So, yeah, we watched Three Stooges, uh, some Tim Allen, a lot of Christmas movies, uh, Evolution. Rat Race, a lot of screwball comedies, played the heck out of Mel Brooks, you know, stuff. Mel Brooks movies, Blazing Saddles, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Uh, watch that old classic, uh, forget who did that one. It's not a Mel Brooks one, but kind of same genre, uh, Airplane. You know, surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. You know, a lot of those old, corny jokes, but when you need a good laugh, when you need to elevate your mood from depression to happiness, those old, corny, screwball comedies and jokes can really go a long way to restoring you to a proper, positive mental balance. So, yeah, whatever comedy appeals to you, make sure that you take about an hour to just watch something funny enjoy life and uh remind yourself you know that there is happiness out there and the more that you cultivate the energy of happiness in your life the more it will begin to manifest and dominate in your life but the more that you focus on the negative the more the negative will manifest and dominate in your life so feed the positive, feed the positive, not the negative uh, in, in, in whatever you watch. But yeah, watch some good, funny movies, make room for comedy and happiness in your life. Uh, second tip here, take time out to listen to inspirational audio books, read some inspirational books. If you've got physical books in your house, you know, break out a few, read some good inspirational books, watch some good inspirational videos, uh, and uh, listen to good uplifting music. You know, whatever inspires you to really look on the positive side of life, whatever elevates your spirit, go ahead, watch it, read it, listen to it, fill your life with positive energy. If you're needing to learn a new skill, 
and you need some inspiration. You know, there's a lot of inspirational mind coaches out there, positive thinking coaches. You can find them all over the place. You can find them on YouTube. You can find them on Amazon. Just go ahead and check them out and make some time in your daily routine to listen to inspirational audio, read some inspirational books, watch some inspirational video, and chill out by listening to some uplifting music and let that build a positive energy within your mind and help you give help you have a more positive mindset and the stuff that's depressing uh set that aside you don't need to be focusing on depression in your life when you're dealing with hard times focus on the good focus on the positive and my uh, uh, next suggestion under keeping a positive mental focus and mindset is to take time out for prayer and meditation. And uh, as I've said in previous podcasts, I'm not trying to get religious here. Whatever God you choose to pray to is fine by me. There was a guy I listened to once who was you know, advocating a certain spiritual path and he began his presentation by saying, look, This is a spiritual path that works for me. But, you know, I think that religion is like underwear. What works for me may not work for you. And that was his mindset. And I think that's a great mindset to run with when we're talking about spirituality and religion. But whatever your view of the Almighty, what your higher power is for you, you know, run with that. And take time out daily for a little bit of prayer and a little bit of meditation and just be honest with the universe. Of course, I would suggest trying to keep it positive. If you've had a if you've had a rough day and you need to vent, then yeah, I mean, the almighty, the, the higher power of my understanding knows my thoughts, knows my needs, you know, knows my feelings. And so there's no sense in trying to hide it. But, you know, if I need to vent, I'll vent. But at the same time, end it up on a positive note and just say, look, I've had a hard day. I've had a hard time. Thanks for listening to me. Be with me to strengthen me, to get me through the next day and to get me through the day ahead. And uh, just take some time out for some positive but honest prayer and meditation and in meditation we listen to a response in prayer we talk to the god of our understanding in meditation we listen take some time out to honestly communicate and commune with your higher power talk and listen to the higher power of your understanding take time out for that on a daily basis and that way even if you feel Like you're all alone, trying to make it through the daily troubles, you know, trying to make it through your financial difficulties. Even if you feel all alone in the world, trying to just eke out a living, through prayer and meditation, we can cultivate a feeling that there is someone with us. And from my spiritual point of view, not only do I feel like I have someone with me, I have someone with me within me and it is that inner spirit that gives me the inner strength that can really pull me through the toughest times and uh, however you communicate whatever basic understanding you have of a higher power you know go with it use it develop it and use that as a tool for helping you cultivate a positive spirit within your life. Uh, There's a lot to be said for having a positive spirit, having faith in yourself, faith in the universe, faith in your fellow human beings. And these are spiritual qualities. And we can only cultivate them through daily spiritual practice. So take the time out to cultivate that positive spiritual practice. And then finally, 
at the end of the day. Try to end the day on a positive note of gratitude. You know, even if the day's been tough, just reach out to the higher power of your understanding or to the universe, however you want to do it, and just say thank you. You brought me through a hard day. Thank you for this. Be with me tomorrow. And just show a little bit of gratitude. And if you've had some good things happen to you, make sure that you mention that too. Show gratitude for those good things. If you're grateful in the small things, the universe will begin to bless you with bigger things. But if you take the good things for granted, have a sense of entitlement in your life, like the universe owes me this, so I shouldn't be grateful for any of this good stuff. The universe owes me on this one. The stronger sense of entitlement that you have, the more you're going to be taking things for granted, the less you're going to be a cheerful, happy person, the less you're going to be a positive person, and you're just not going to be able to cultivate a positive spirit, a positive mindset, and positive energy into your life. So, the end of each day, find something to be grateful for and show gratitude. And examine your life, too. Are there, are there nice things that you have and just take for granted? You know, Wayne Dyer had a beautiful talk on this. You know, if you have a roof over your head, you're more blessed than a lot of people on the planet. If you've got clean water to drink, you're more blessed than a lot of people on the planet. If you have food in your refrigerator and a little bit of money in your pocket, you're more blessed than a lot of people on this planet. So just look at your life honestly. See the things that you have that you can be grateful for, should be grateful for, things that you take for granted, and show a little bit of gratitude for those things. And just try to develop a mindset where you don't take anything for granted. And if you can live that kind of a life, the positive attitude, a grateful spirit, a loving, helpful spirit, uh, you can really begin to build a beautiful life for yourself. No matter how dark the times are, no matter how bad the news says things are, you can turn things around and do it. So those are my suggestions. Dealing with hard times. I hope you found this helpful. We're going to go ahead and wind this podcast down. I've got a song here by Sophie Marie. And I kind of like her. She tends to do a lot of negative, heavy metal rock and roll. But she also balances it out once in a while with a nice, positive, uplifting song. And this is a song that is uh, positive and uplifting. It's called, Is This What Heaven's Like? And thanks for dropping by today. That's all we have for now. We'll catch you again on Monday. So, take care. (laughs) 